Hello friends, my name is Pranay Pandey and in this OIBIS video tutorial we will be doing an overview of setting up MySQL database in Apache OIBIS. As you already know that when you download OIBIS and set it up for demonstration purpose or having a walkthrough, you use embedded Derby database for loading all the data. So at any time you can uh, go back and you can migrate uh, your existing data to MySQL or you can start using MySQL database with some easy configuration that is available in OIBIS. So for doing that, I'm going to refer again the latest uh, release of OIBIS that is OIBIS 16.11 and whatever we'll be walking through today will be applicable to OIBIS trunk as well because uh, the settings are going to be the same. With the recent introduction of Gradle in OIBIS, there are few things which have changed now. So you'll need to make sure that you are moving accordingly because Der with Derby, OIBIS is going to work as is without any without any uh, other configurations that you need to make. But when it uh, when you are going to configure it with MySQL, you'll need to explicitly put in the database connector first of all, uh, or I would say the database driver will be needed for that. And uh, for doing that, what you have to do is with the uh, recent introduction of Gradle in, in, in current version of OIBIS, uh, if it is strong or basically the release. For example, I have created my own component in 16.11 here, which is there in special purpose. It's being considered as plugin. Here in OIBIS demo component, I have got the build.gradle file. So what I'll need to do is I'll need to make sure that I mention the dependency here. So I have mentioned the dependency and this information can be clearly identified here in the document, which is uh, as of now is being prepared by the community. It's, it's a kind of migration from and to gradle. So the, users or developers who have been using OIBIS since long and are used to of using AND, how can they start using the latest revisions or versions of OIBIS and they can work feel good with Gradle. So this is the document that you can refer at any time. It will help you a lot. It's, a, uh, it's having clear instructions. So in this document, you will get the information regarding the MySQL driver as well. And this is what I have done. I have mentioned the dependency here for my component. Uh, which is which I, which is actually going to need the MySQL database. I want to work on MySQL database, so I have mentioned the dependency, and let's make sure that your DB version is actually supporting this particular driver. So I have mentioned this thing, and uh, once that's done, I have configured Gradle in my editor here. So either I can run the target to set a project from here to download the dependency, or I can go to console, and I can simply say Gradle wrapper sorry build so it will download all the dependencies and set up the project for me as of now it has already been downloaded so it, it won't take that much of time to build the project it's going to build the project for me okay the project build is now successful all the dependencies have been downloaded and the dependencies can be reviewed or seen here in the external library section here you will find mysql dependency which has been downloaded now so the connector is now in place it has been properly set up by gradle now you need to make some configurations so for doing that you will need to tell oibiz okay this is my data source where you have to connect when you are going to talk to the database so for doing that there is a good document which is available in OIBIS the name of the document you can search uh, it on OIBIS wiki easily it's saying that how to migrate from OIB, uh, how to migrate OIBIS from Derby to MySQL database it's a good document and uh, it can be referred at any time it clearly says that how can you go ahead and you can use MySQL with OIBIS so you can follow the instructions here it's having clear instructions and uh, I'm going to do the same basically but the difference is that the document is actually created in past and it actually refers to or release OIBIS 1004 
when I am going to refer to the re latest release of Firebase. So there is not much of any difference. I am going to framework and then uh, I am going to uh, go to Entity Engine and I am going to open the Entity Engine XML file. That is actually the main configurator file for database. And here you will get the delegators, right? So here you get the default uh, delegator and then default NoECA and the test one. And you have got some groups. Uh, so as of now, to keep it simple, what I'm doing is uh, I'm keeping the same data source for all these groups. I'm keeping local MySQL for all of these. Uh, I already changed it actually. So uh, earlier, if you look at the file, you'll get something like this local derby, local derby at all the places. What you need to do is you have to replace it with local MySQL. This is the data source name which is already defined in the file that is why we are using we are using this data source you can define your own data sources as well there is no foundation in OIBIS it's, it provides you the flexibility of defining your data sources as well based on new groups that you may need to uh, define at any time so uh, as of now I have used it uh, I have used local MySQL at all the places and for all of these delegators which are defined here and uh, I am going down a bit to locate this local MySQL data source I have got it all the DB specific configurations are there and then here you have you have, you have got the details of JDBC driver so here what you have to mention is you have to mention the database name that you would like to create so let's see if I got the database set up let's set up one database in MySQL MySQL and uh, create a database like this show databases okay it has been created I'm using it here the name of the database I have set up the user and the password as well so this is the user and password for accessing the database and simply save the file and you are done so as of now we are not doing any of the settings here for these data sources you can define a number of data sources depending on your requirements so and just to keep it simple I am just setting up local MySQL here then the same data source is being referred by all the entity groups that we are going to form so all these are groups there and I'm using the same database so this is done I have already loaded uh, I have already downloaded the dependency the uh, driver that I needed now the next thing I need to do is go to console and your drive uh, definitely I have already configured Gradle here so I can run my Gradle targets from uh, IntelliJ IDEA only but uh, I'm using console and here I have to say Gradle wrapper load default so it's going to load all the demo data the seed seed initial and the demo data that has been come to you with OIBIS download and along with the data that you may have created for your application if it comes it has been defined with the reader seed seed initial demo basically so it's going to be loaded uh, with uh, this particular command so you can see that the database connection has been established it can be seen in the console logs clearly let me go up a little bit so first of all all the components were loaded and then you can see that all the entities have been loaded here database product details are being shown there database product version is being shown there all these details can be verified from console and then uh, the database is being loaded first of all all the tables are being created into the database and with MySQL it is going to take a little bit because there are many entities which has to be created in the database so once all the entities are there in the database all the tables are there in the database all the demo seed seed initial data will be loaded into those uh, entities okay so it has now completed all the entities were loaded into the database and then all the data has been loaded into the, data, into the database and you can see that at the end we have got the message finish the data load with these many rows which were changed in the database so 
so data has been loaded now one way to verify that if uh, all the data has been loaded and the db connection has been established you can write away start uh, oibase by this command and check if uh, the demo applications are working fine or not or the applications in OIB, applications in oibase are working fine or not when my my connection with the mysql database has been properly worked out so it has been started now let's open the ui I'm going to the web tools here. Web tools are the developer tools and are heavily used by the OIBIS developers because there are many utilities which are available and are good to use. So I'm going to entity data maintenance here in web tools and you can see that all these are the tables which have been loaded into the database and all these are coming from MySQL database. Now the other way to check if the database has been created properly or not or it has been set up properly or not you can simply go to mysql again and say use ofbiz and then you will be able to identify the table if it has, if uh, these table if these tables have been properly created into the database or not so here i am going to say show tables here are the tables so these many tables are there you can see that 873 tables have been created in OIBase and uh, you have got all those from the, the generic business model or the processes which are implemented by OIBase and definitely there are some framework related tables which have been created so in general all these are required to be created and all the demo data has also been loaded so just to uh, just to check if the data has been loaded or not so either you can do it from uh, web tools entity data maintenance like you can go to person table or you can locate order header okay I have got the order header table here you can see that all this demo data has been loaded into the table and at the same time you can do it do the same thing from here select star from order underscore header sorry here it is so the data has been loaded mysql connection was successful you have successfully connected with mysql database and following the document instructions here you can migrate your data from derby to mysql the standard practice does not recommend this thing but there can be a chance that as a developer you started working with derby and you have got some data that has to be imported in mysql database or that has to be migrated to mysql database at some point of time so in that case you can easily use the import and export tools that uh, those are available in web tools uh, to do that so uh, that in uh, those instructions are clearly mentioned here in web tools you have got export and import utilities here if you go to entity maintenance tools here you can export xml data and then you can import it back so you can export the data you can export the data from uh, your derby database and then you can import it back to the mysql database and all these utilities are basically given there so uh, you can utilize these features uh, which are there in uh, web tools and which are very uh, friendly and uh, which are actually very helpful in overall uh, improvement of e efficiency if you are working with oibase as a developer so also the there are some utilities which are, which are very helpful to the users of oibase so yeah uh, that's all for this video uh, in the next video we'll see how to efficiently look at the entity definitions how to define your own tables and uh, entities in the database if uh, you want to have some custom implementations done so until then uh, i hope you guys uh, have a great day and uh, thanks for watching